Okay, today class, I want you to work in your workbook on page 151. Oh, wait, I just got an important email. Let me check that real quick. Um, oh, I don't want anyone to see that. Hey, Stacy. So it looks like you want to show something different on your screen and on the screen for your students. There's a couple ways we can do this. Uh, the easiest way is to use the Epson Brightlink Projector's Freeze functionality. On your remote, you can pull up what you want on the screen and then hit the Freeze button. Up in the top corner, it's going to say Freeze, and now your students will continue to see this, but you can control what's on your desktop separately, and they'll look different. You can also access the Freeze function from the touch interface by clicking this button and then hitting the Freeze button, the little pause button. You can see it says Freeze up in the top corner now. Another way you can resolve this is to set up what are called extended displays. So what shows up on your desktop is always different than what's on the screen. To do this, you'd go to the desktop. So go ahead and go to the desktop. You're going to right click on the desktop and go to Intel Graphic Settings. From the Intel graphic settings, we're going to go to multiple displays and select extend to desktop. Once we hit apply, this will allow you to have something different on your screen from what the students have on the display up here while still enabling the touch input to work. Thanks, Alex.